Business, sports, music, and entertainment. Dadalhin sa inyo. Dadalhin sa inyo. The mas pinaganda, mas pinalawa, mas pinalakas. Radio Pilipinas. Radio, Radio Pilipinas. Shede tres ocho sa Metro Manila. Want to get taxi driver and be up to date? Be up to date. Latest car news, motoring stories, at industry analysis. Gearbox. Gearbox. Ang roadmap mo sa mga pinakabago sa mundo ng automotive. Start the engine. Buckle up and steer the wheel. Car enthusiast man o baguhan. Siguradong madaming matututunan. Gearbox. Gearbox na. Hosted by Eric Tipan at Nana Nadal. Dito sa Radio Pilipinas, 738 AM. Muslim brothers and sisters, magandang hapon po sa inyo lahat and welcome back to the show. It's Gearbox. Kasama si Nana Nadal, ako po si Eric Dipan. We're live on the radio, 7.38 AM po. And we're also live on Facebook. Magtungo lang sa Facebook page namin. That's at Gearbox RP1. At dahil uh, na-mention ko na rin ang social media, kung kayo na sa Instagram, pakifollow naman kami sa at Gearbox on Air. Kung sa YouTube naman ang gusto nyo, pwede rin. Nandun din kami sa At Gearbox On Air. At lahat po ng episodes uh, natin, yung new episodes every Thursday, every Friday po ng umaga, around 9am, uh, naka-upload na po yan. So pwede nyo uh, panoorin yung replace ng ating Thursday episodes. Kumusta na po kayong lahat? Uh, hope you guys are doing well today. Holiday Thursday, nabanggit na po natin. Ano, na, malamang, nadidinig nyo na po all throughout today dito sa radio station natin. Eid Mubarak, binabati po kayo, no? Um, because today is Idil Fitir. Yes, ang ibig sabihin ng Eid Mubarak is Blessed Eid, di ba? Ano ba itong okasyon na sineselebrate natin? Um, I think yung mga Kristiyano, yung mga non-Muslims, hindi tayo masyadong familiar, di ba? Yung iba, basta lang, basta holiday. <laughs> oh, so, ito, uh, today marks the end of the month-long Ramadan. That's so, right. So, ngayon, pwede nang mag-celebrate. Um, I think, you know, I think yung ritual is it starts with a prayer and then, um, ideally, nag-get together pero dahil may pandemic, um, siguro virtual na rin ang get together nila, no? That's um, right. And then, merong kainan, handaan, um, yun. In certain places, meron pang ang exchange gifts, Uh, and of course, a lot of hugging, a lot of celebration. Kasi yung Ramadan po, para sa mga hindi nakakalam, it's a holy month of fasting. So 30 days po yan, isang buwan, fasting for our Muslim brothers and sisters. Ano? And uh, the reason they're fasting is because itong, itong uh, Ramadan is the time uh, when God revealed the Quran to Prophet Muhammad. So kaya po nila sineselebrate yung, yung pangyayari na yon. And then after that, after ng Ramadan, yun nga po, Idil Fitir, which is today, the breaking of the fast. Kaya ngayon po makakakain na sila ng uh, celebrate by by eating desserts, a lot of desserts. Uh, na, nakita ko to sa Wikipedia, no? Dates, cookies, baklava are just some of the items na talagang hinahain ng mga uh, brothers and sisters nating Muslim to mark the celebration of Idil Fitir. Um, tapos yung ibang ibang ano nga, ibang um, you know, uh, Muslims sa ibang bansa, they Um, observe yung tinatawag na zakat al fitir which is uh, charity na mimigay po sila sa ibang tao so that's one of the many ways na sinaselebrate po ang idil fitir which happens today uh, and i'm glad ano before hindi natin sinaselebrate to as a country di ba yeah oh, na parang yan ang that's something that i didn't i wasn't able to look up kung when we started kaya lang yeah. tayo nagsimula parang Just several years ago or recently yeah yeah oh, oh. It wasn't celebrated um, uh, regularly like now before. Kaya mas nakakatuwa ngayon na we 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 show na we are one with our Muslim brothers and sisters because let's remember a huge majority ng ating bansa ay marami tayong kapatid na Muslim. Uh, sa Mindanao, Cebu even even sa Manila marami na rin ano. So it's nice na napapakita natin na we're one with you kahit na iba yung ating belief eh sinecelebrate natin along with you kung ano man yung uh, you know, celebration in you um, because we are obviously one people. So that, that's, you know, it makes it, we, may, we make it family, itong, itong uh, celebration ito. So it's nice. Now we finally get to celebrate this. Uh, and I'm sure it doesn't hurt for the kids na, alam mo mga bata, pag nakadili ng holiday, yan, automatic smile on their face, ano? Ang tanong ay bata lang ba? 
<laughs> Bata lang ba <laughs> sumagay, <laughs> Actually, di ba? Yung mga nasa office din. I mean, you're happy na there's a break during the week. But uh, the, the real importance, of course, is yun nga, celebrating it with our Muslim brothers and sisters and, and showing that we're one with them in this celebration. So Eid Mubarak uh, to everybody uh, today. Um, but tomorrow, it's back to work for everybody. Sayang, na nabitan, may isang, may sandwich na Friday. But it is what it is. We go back to work. And uh, for now naman, it's not so bad because it's mostly work from home for everybody. So that's the situation right now. Hopefully nga pala no. Hopefully marami sa inyo. Ang dami ko na nakikitang nag uh, nagkakaroon ng you know vaccine rollout sa mga uh, na, now that we're talking about the situation right now. Ang dami ko na nakikitang vaccine rollouts in in various cities dito sa Metro Manila and even sa labas. Yes, pa na yung post ng mga tao ng mga yeah. V-sign nila na na-vaccinate <laughs> na ba? So magandang balita 'yon. That's that's true. That's true. And yun nga sabi nila no. Uh, to be able to, to kickstart the economy, we really, th- this is the, the next big step. So, kung may pagkakataon kayo uh, to get yourself vaccinated, um, that's a recommendation is go get one para makatulong uh, to, to stop the spread of the virus and also to kickstart the economy. Ako, gihintay na nga lang ako. Dami, kung saan saan ako nagtatanong, saan ba ako pwede magpalista? Dahil, uh, <laughs> syempre ngayon, right now, may mga priorities kasi uh, A1, A2, A3, parang ganun oh. eh, may categories. So, um, Seniors, obviously... may comorbidities. Diba? That's right. Abang next doon, I think front, front liners. Front liners. Oo. Oh, oh. So, oh, medyo matagal ka pa eh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, uh, you know, I, I guess the term is excited. I, you know, I wanna, I wanna be vaccinated. Para yun nga, maka, maka, um, kabawas sa statist- statistic, no? Kabawas sa statistic. Masyado marami S yun eh. Uh, so yun. Uh, hopefully, the opportunity. Of mind, That's true. That's true. Um, okay, uh, back to Gearbox. Um, it's May 13. Uh, kalagitnaan na po ng buwan ng Mayo. No? And today we have uh, our guests uh, talking about e-racing. And then we're going to talk about food. A lot of food. That's all up on Gearbox today. We'll have our first guests on the show mula sa Toyota Motor Philippines when we come back. For Gearbox, the latest and freshest of lifestyle products and trends. Gearbox, get ready for two hours of entertainment, features, review, and interviews. Gearbox, we ask the questions so you get the answers. Wala nang paligoy-ligoy pa. Gearbox, it's Eric and Nana live. Dito sa Radio Pilipinas, 738 AM. Gearbox, tutok na. Mga bakunang sa COVID-19 ay panlaban. Isa-isa nang nakakarating sa Maynila at iba't ibang probinsya. Ating gobyerno ay natutuwa dahil marami na rin ang interesadong magpabakuna. Halos araw-araw, marami po nagre-request ng mga baksin. Ibig sabihin po, talagang tumas na po yung kagustuhan ng ating mga kababayan na magkaroon na po ng bakuna. Ating mga kababayan, patuloy na binibigyang kasiguraduhan, mga bakuna ay ligtas at hindi dapat parambahan. Sa mga bakuna na ginagamit sa buong mundo, yung AstraZeneca at saka Sinovac na ginagamit po natin ay top 5 po yan. Meaning uh, gusto nating i-assure yung ating mga kababayan na yung ginagamit nating bakuna ay ginagamit na rin sa napakaraming countries. Pero ating gobyerno sa ating muli nagpapaalala na sa kabila ng mga nakahandang bakuna, pag-iingat sa sarili ay mahalaga pa rin na mauna. It's also the mask, the washing of the hands at social distancing. It's your life. You have only one life to live. So, please guard yourself. Sa mga sabi-sabi ay huwag basta maniwala. Gawin ang mas makabubuti para sa sarili, pamilya at kapwa. Press Bakuna! Sama-sama tayo sa Bida Vaccination! Isang mensahe mula sa DOH, KBP, PCOO, Philippine Broadcasting Service, Radio Pilipinas, Republika FM1 at Capital FM2. Halos dalawang bilyong Pilipino na ang nabakunahan sa tuloy-tuloy na COVID-19 vaccination program ng bansa. Meron na po tayong 1.6 million Filipinos that already been vaccinated. And then meron po tayong vaccine administered, both first doses and second dose, for 1,948,080. So malapit na po tayong mag-break ng 2 million mark. Karagdagang mga bakuna, maaasahan sa mga susunod na buwan. Starting po ng June, makakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakak
nagkakaroon na po tayo ng more or less 10.3 million doses dahil po narating na rin po ang Moderna at saka po yung AstraZeneca. Isang bansa tayo sa paglaban sa COVID-19. Tamang impormasyon ang isa sa mga sandata natin. Basta't sama-sama, kaya natin to. Isang mensahe mula sa Radyo Pilipinas. Ang nanay ko, doktor. Si tatay ay nagtatrabaho bilang pulis. Ang ina ko ay sa home pharmacist. Akong amay, usak ka nurse. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Araw-araw nilang nilalagay ang kanilang buhay sa piligro. Sa ngalan ng serbisyo. Hindi lang para sa mga mahal nila sa buhay, kundi para sa ating lahat. Kaya't sa ating mga Filipino frontliners, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Lahat kami ay saludo at sumusuporta sa inyo. Isang paalala mula sa Philippine Broadcasting Service. Sa pagharap ng sambayanan sa krisis na dala ng coronavirus disease, ay walang humpay na nagbabantay ang pamalaan at kagawaran ng kalusugan. We remain to be vigilant dahil matagal pa ho ang laban na ito. Atin na pong isaisip na magkakaroon na po tayo ng new normal. At sa kooperasyon ng bawat isa, sa ating pagsunod sa mga tuntunin ng gobyerno, ay unti-unti na itong nagbubunga. Makikita na po na parang nabibend na yung pataas na tinagrap at makikita na po natin na nag-uumpisa na kaya sa mga payo at batas na inilabas ay manatili tayong sumunod. Patuloy po nating gagawin ang mga measures na ginagawa natin to prevent na dumami pa po ang kaso sa ating bansa. We are in this together. Sama-sama nating puksain ang COVID-19. We heal as one. Isang mensahe mula sa Philippine Broadcasting Service at Radyo Pilipinas. Kasalukuyang mang nasa clinical trial, gamot na Ivermectin, ay may permisong gamitin sa pasyenteng tinamaan ng COVID-19. Allow naman po yan, basta nabigyan po ng approval ng ating Food and Drug Administration, yung ospital at yung mga doktor na pwede pong gumamit ito under compassionate use. Eksperto, binigyan linaw ang tungkol sa compassionate use na ito. Sa compassionate use ay binibigay lang ng FDA habang itong produkto po ay wala pang registration sa ating bansa. Kasabay nito, resulta ng pag-aaral sa Ivermectin ay hinihintay pa Maganda po na magkaroon tayo ng karanasan para makita po natin na tayo ba ay paano mag-respond sa gamot na ito. Meron ba tayo mga side effect na maaaring hindi nakita sa ibang bansa. Maganda po yun na informasyon na pwede nga maging resulta ng pag-aaral na ito. Kailan kaya mabibigyang konklusyon ang bunga ng clinical trial? Igagawad ba ng FDA ang permanenteng pahintulot sa paggamit ng Ivermectin para sa mga pasyenteng may COVID-19? Sabay-sabay nating sundan ang mga susunod na kaganapan. Aktibo sa pag-uulat. Radyo Pilipinas. Todo na ang Selinador Forward and Speed Up with Gearbox sa Radio Pilipinas 7:38 AM. Welcome back to Gearbox dito sa Radio Pilipinas 7:38 AM. We're also live online via our Facebook site, the Gearbox RP1 at mapapanood din tayo sa Radio Pilipinas Uno on Facebook. Magandang hapon, Eric Tipan with Nana Nadal. Batiin natin si Joshua Raybondia, always an avid fan of the show. Thank you for listening. Each and every Thursday, our first guest uh, today mula sa Toyota Motor Philippines from their PR and Communications Department para pag-usapan natin ang GR Supra GT Cup Philippines 2021, si uh, Jamie Mejia at JM Oleo. Welcome to Gearbox. Hi, sir. Hi, Eric. Hello. <laughs> Now, congratulations. Uh, another great kickoff nitong uh, second season ng GR Supra GT Cup Philippines 2021. Um... Kailan yung first uh, first race, first leaderboard, first uh, heat? Uh, first round happened last April 30 and then May 1. So right now, we're in the process of closing yung first uh, round two participants. Um, for the first round, we were really surprised kasi mabot ng 200 participants. And wow. this is a really... Big improvement versus last year. It's about 30% increase versus the participants from the last round. And for the second round, um, we're looking at the same figure. Kaya nakikita namin na sobrang dami talagang gamers na oh. gusto sumalat, gusto maging e-racer. And we're so happy that we were able to spread this activity and um, raise awareness. Kasi nakikita mong dumadami talaga yung interested to join. <laughs> Galing! And, uh, Pero teka lang, explain muna natin, ano ba siya? What is the GR Supra GT Cup Philippines 2021? The GR, Supra, uh, the GR GT Cup Philippines is the e-motorsports. It's the online racing arm 
of the GR Vios Cup, which we will um, will JM share um, later on. Um, we are it's a online racing tournament. It was mm. released and launched last year. At the height of the pandemic, we thought that this is a perfect time to encourage everyone to uh, try motorsports and try it safely at home. Because you can actually enjoy it, kaya nasa bahay ka. It's the same thrill. It's the same wakodoki effect, and um, you get the same type of camaraderie with your friends. So it's basically the um, online motorsports counterpart of VR, the it's mm. And how do they join? How can we join? Uy, kasali daw ako. <laughs> Actually, pwede ano. I would forward to see you join. I would like to join too, pero bawal. Um, bawal. <laughs> register at toyota.com.ph slash gtcup. You can see the type of participant na saan ka kasaling class. Kasi may class doon na for professional and then may class doon na for beginners. And we also have a class for juniors. It's very, very surprising na sobrang galing na mga junior racers natin. And actually, sila yung pinakamabilis. Um, kung hindi lang, pwede lang sana sumali sila din sa national round, but you know, we have to keep it 18 years old and above. So, everything's there. The mechanics, the points, and then the link on how to join every round is there. So, you can see everything there. The website. Break it down for us, JM. Ano, ano yung uh, mga classes na to? It's uh, promotional, there's sporting, and there's junior. Let's start with junior. Um, anong yeah. age yung um, uh, eligible to join the junior class? Alright, so for the junior class, it's open for our players who are 17 years old and below. So actually, as young as, um, we have as young as 12, 13, 14 years old who are already wow. competing. Um, kasi talagang, minsan kahit bata pa lang, grabe na yung passion nila into racing. And they're already kasi showing skills. Yes. yes, they're already showing skills. And then we have our promotional class, which is uh, for the for those who are participating with no esports professional experience yet. So ito pa yung mga hindi pa nakakalaban uh, into professional esports events. And then we have our sporting, which are uh, players who are representing their own teams. Naman, um, they have uh, they have their own uh, experience in esports tournaments. Okay, and uh, this includes itong, itong class na to includes yung winners from last. Year, no? Si Tere, yes. nandito na sa, yes. sa sporting, ano? Because he's yes. too good for promotional already. Matatalo lang lahat pag yes. iniwan pa si, Ter- si Tere sa, sa promotional, ano? I, I saw I saw some of the results nung um, leaderboard and then uh, heats, ano? And speaking of that, can you tell us, kasi pag, nila, pag, pag binuksan nila yung uh, website na sinabi ni Jamie kanina, they will see um, leaderboard challenge and then yung heat. What's what's the difference between the two? And uh, tell us the process. Pag pumasok sila on the next race weekend. Um, for the leaderboard, the difference is from the hundreds of participants na sumale at nagregister. We will pick the top twenty-four um, who will race for the semifinals, and then we pick the top nine who will join the final round. So from that top nine, we pick the fastest, um, na may sobrang bilis, sobrang galing. And then from that, we get the winner. So that that goes for the promotional class, and the sporting class, and then the junior class. Kaya sa junior. Happens, so, like ilan ang matitira from like yung the last uh, heat, yung first yung first uh, weekend, race weekend, you know? Um, from the leaderboard of what is it? To sabi mo around two hundred participants. Yeah. Ilan na matitira to go to the heats? Um, twenty four. Twenty four. Twenty four na lang talaga from from two hundred. Yes, wow. From two hundred top twenty four. So they have they really have to do their best. Kailangan nilang bilisan talaga. Okay. So so two hundred, then twenty four, ah. then nine, yes. and then three yes. for every class. Yes. Okay, pero may binabanggit kayo na hindi ko masyado maintindihan. When you say race weekend, parang madami eh. Diba? Meron ng nauna and then you're mentioning na meron rin upcoming. Why are there several race weekends? And paano yun? Every weekend ba? Merong set of winners or magsasama-sama ba yan? Paano ba ito? 
JM, do you wanna share? Yes. Uh, so actually, um, the good thing about this race for this uh, for the this year's edition of the Toyota Gazoo Racing GT Cup, um, the upcoming rounds, yung sa May 28 and 29, which you will watch on 28 and 29, may chance na yung mga players to rejoin, to requalify, and to earn more points. Um, kasi meron din mga prizes at stake. Uh, and then, on the final round on June 18 and June 19, which you can watch over the Facebook page of Toyota Motor Philippines, um, mas malaki pa yung chances of winning of the players who can who will join the race. So, um, the racers, the participants are encouraged to requalify para mas marami yung chances nila of earning more points and earning bigger prizes. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So, kung di ako sumali sa first and second race weekend, I can still join the third weekend? Yes. Yeah, but you have to Pero, catch up. Okay. 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 So, so the winners. Pwede pa. Wala, hindi pala nahuli. Kunwari, if you know, we have our listeners and viewers na ngayon lang nila nalaman to. Hindi pa huli ang lahat. Pwede pa silang humabol. Correct. Correct. We can join pa talaga. Third Ako rin pwede, no? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Why the winners of the first round, so pwede uli silang sumali in the second round? Yes. Okay. Yes. okay. So obviously, kung late kang sasali, yun lang, you're at a disadvantage because the winners who already accumulated points, kukuha uli ng points yan in the second round. So yun nga tulad nga sabi ni JM, you have to catch up kasi yes. medyo matatambakan ka na because they've been incurring points since the first race weekend. So mahirap yes. mag-abot. Kaila, magdadasal ka na lang, matalo sila para mas mataas yung points yung makukuha because it's a, I believe it's a point system. Ano? Paano ba yung point system yes. ni JM? Yes, actually, um, so yung mga makakarak ng first, second, third place, they each get 20, 15, and 12 points, respectively. Okay. And then, tuli tuli na yon 10, 9, 8, hanggang sa 1 point to the sa last place. But here's the kicker, Eric. Pagdating dito sa second round, hanggang sa third round, meron tayong multiplier. So for the second round, the points that they get, it's multiplied by 1.5. And then for the final round, on round 3, the points are multiplied by 2 times. So, Wow. Kung hahabol ka and you really push for it, talagang mahakahabol ka, especially that we have the multiplier for the scores. Uh, so, y- ang hope mo is manalo ka uh, higher places in the third round because mataas yung multiplier. Yes. Yes. Mas okay. nakakapush okay. yun. <laughs> wow. Oh, malaking so, bagay yun. Parang hindi pala guarantee. Yes, um, very kung interesting. Mataas yung position ko si sa Perry. first weekend. Hindi yung guarantee na parang mga sa top na ako, di ba? Kasi yeah. pwede pa rin akong ma-overtake yeah. ng mga iba. True. Oo. Oh. Right. Parang pinapag-usapan pa lang natin, sobrang na-excite. <laughs> <laughs> exciting! Ang suspense! Planning about it also. It's exciting. I'm wondering though, bakit Friday, Saturday, hindi Saturday, Sunday, yung mga race weekends? Oh, because we, we aligned it with the drivers, had a survey with them, as ah, really? na, kailan nyo ba gusto magkaroon ng race weekend that won't interfere with your schedules. So, the best time tala, we tried setting it ng weekday. Halos, well, the round 2 last year, medyo dun may kita yung drop in participants because it was a weekday. So, sabi namin, okay, sige, mukhang wag tayo mag-weekday. Weekend talaga. Pa weekend and then they're all up for it. Wala talagang nanonood ng K-drama, walang nag-Netflix <laughs> because everyone should turn their internet off and then mag- good grand turismo lang sila. Oh, was there an option okay. for a Saturday and Sunday? Um, they would like to spend the Sundays with their families. Oh, okay. So, they would okay. like to offer... Yeah, Friday, Friday, Saturday talaga. No, I, I, the reason I ask lines okay, because a lot of... they would like it. Nire-require sila. Hindi ka pwede mag-video-video game ngayon. Mag-Sunday. Pinabawa na. Trick ang parents. Yeah, because a, a lot of yung mga man- gusto manood lang, yung mga fans, obviously, I, I'm, I'm just guessing, ano, they would be freer Saturday and Sunday to watch, uh, you know, games because some of them might still be coming off work or, or whatever on a Friday. But kaya nagulat lang ako, why, is it, why does the leaderboard happen on a Friday and then the heat on a Saturday? So, but, I guess most of the drivers prefer you know, Saturday, uh, Friday and Saturday. Yeah. Uh, as what, whatever works for these guys, obviously. So the next heat is going to be May 28 and 29. Uh, and the one after, yung third, is 18 and 19. Tapos there's just one date on June 26, which is the National 
finals ano so who goes to the finals yung yung winners lang ng 18 and 19 the top, the people with the top points on the final race weekend yeah um pinaka magaling pinaka may mataas na points at pinaka mabilis na scores will proceed to the final national rounds because we all we really want to get the best and then the fastest fastest racer e motorsports racer here in the philippines and we want to cultivate their, their talents further that is why we're picking just the fastest na may matataas na score for the last race day mm -hmm. And then, pero you said na walang junior category yung nationals. Tama ba yung remake ko kanina? Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah. So hanggang saan yung juniors? Um, they will stop at round three. Um, by round three, we can determine the fastest junior racer with the highest score. And then from there, we will award them with their own PS5s. Oh. And... With their cash prize, because this year we really want to kick it up, kick it up a notch. Because we've noticed how lucrative the prizes of other e-games, and we thought, na why not make it fun for these guys and make it very, you know, the competition very tough for them, because. Pag nanalo ka ng PS5 na lagi out of stock at nanalo ka pa ng cash prize, oh my gosh, yeah. you will really do your best to be the best junior promotional sports So, may PS5 ka na, may pambili ka pa ng games. Yun ang yes. maganda doon. May panlibre ka pa. Pangkapit ka pa everyday. <laughs> but, but you mentioned Meron kanina, JM, ano? ano? May, what, mm. what are the other prizes? Aside, may weekly prizes kang binanggit kanina. What are, what are those other weekly prizes? Yeah, so each um, each round, medyo tumataas and tumataas yung mga prizes natin. No? Um, do the top prize natin, meron tayong, dun sa overall winners natin, meron tayong Sony PlayStation 5 plus cash prize. And then the, uh, dun sa mga weekly rounds natin, um, each of them will get gears and gadget gaming gears. Meron dyang mga um, high-tech mouse, devi mga devices, tablets, monitors, um, driving rigs, uh, at mga marami pang devices actually that they can surely enjoy na madadagdag sa kanilang mga gamit pag naglalaro sila sa bahay. Meron bang parents consent ito? <laughs> pag junior? <laughs> oh! Kasi yeah. yung mga magulang, yes. di ba? Okay, tama na. Tama na maglaro kayo naman. Sige, ito pa! <laughs> Siguro just to add sa sinabi kanya ni Jamie. Um, kasi we apart from apart from having this um, competition uh, uh, we we are urging uh, racers to um, to show off their skills and to show off their, yung kanilang ma-achieve talaga yung mga prizes we're also kind of um, supporting the esports uh, landscape din kasi um, and this is one of the ways that we want to share the waku talking spirit the thrill of racing is it's for everyone uh, so we wanted to, to to spread that vibe and to support the talents of when it comes to esports, especially for e motorsports. Right. Natutuwa nga ako eh, na merong category na professional, di ba? Na pag inisip mo, may pro sa esports, di ba? Yes. So, yes. Ano pa yung ano? Do naman sa kasi you mentioned the prices for the juniors. How about the prices for the nationals? Parang may mga nabasa akong ano eh. Parang sobrang yeah. bongga yata yan eh. <laughs> for national finals, uh, we have our, for the champion, first place, um, PlayStation Sony PlayStation 5 plus cash prize. And then for the second place, it's a tablet, high-tech tablet. And then the third prize is a gaming chair na talaga namang pinag-aagawan ngayon sa, sa market. Yeah, actually, it's all, I tried to buy one for myself. Kailangan kong mag-wait list because um, ubusan talaga siya sa stock. Correct. I've seen yung videos. People really line up for the gaming chair. Oh, kasi What that's the way you can experience it from home now, eh. Diba? Yes, Hindi tayo pwedeng lumabas at pumunta sa racetrack. So, ito na yung closest thing to the excitement and the thrill. Kaya naman pinag-aagawan. And kaya naman ang daming sumasali sa event mo. <laughs> <laughs> now the first track no na uh, tinakbuhan nung uh, first race weekend was Monza no. Um yes. uh, do you guys reveal yung yung tracks? Uh, what's the next track? Do you know? Um we don't reveal the tracks kasi 
sobrang ibang klase mag-practice ang gamers. <laughs> I have That's heard, true. Um, they don't really go out. Parang if tayo, we have that 9 to 5. They have that 9 to 5 and just practicing that um that route. So, ang ginagawa namin, we release the type of um route sa driver's briefing to make it fair for everyone. Na, okay. This is the first time na you'll be hearing about this. So, we'll give you the, the driver's briefing ngayon, bukas yung game. Kaya, they don't have much time to practice. Practice. Yung, uh, yeah. Kasi, ibang klase talaga sila mag-practice. Like, hours. If pwede sila lang hindi mag-practice, talaga sila just to practice. <laughs> Grab yung dedication talaga nila. Oh, I can I can just imagine. So surprise pala yung track. Yes. Kayo, paano nyo pinipili? Pero alam nyo na, ahead of time, binubulot yeah, ba yan? Yeah, ahead bang, of time. Baka mag-leak, di ba? Mag- yeah. Magkakaroon ng controversy. <laughs> Pag nag-leak, kung ano yung track. Buti <laughs> na lang, we really have loyal organizers who don't have <laughs> information. <laughs> TRS pa naman sila, sila JP naman to, di ba? TRS pa rin? Yes. Um, they inform us from time to time na oy okay itong track na to kasi um may hirapan sila it, it's, it has a very tricky turn ma okay siya sa una and then magugulat ka sa in between kasi ang daming tricky turns ganyan so parang we mix and match the type of track that we will um give each round but of course um ang ganda kasi ng prices eh kaya parang kami oy medyo Abrindin natin yung track. Medyo kailangan din natin level up yung track. Yeah, yeah for sure. For sure. How so how early can... Na, go ahead, Nana. Hindi, ikaw muna, ikaw muna. How early can they sign up? Like, natapos na nung uh, April 30, May 1, right? Sabi mo, Jamie. Uh, the next weekend, race weekend is 28 and 29. How early can they sign up for that? Um, once we've determined the um, leaderboard participants, uh, pwede na mag-sign up agad for round 3. So, you really want to encourage everyone to no, join but, round 3. Kasi, so, um, f- what do you mean? For round 2, hindi na pwede? Sarado na ngayon? Right. Um, for example, right now, round 2 is still open. You can still okay, you join. Too. Yeah, for 2, you can still join. Can ah, still 2 join. pwede pa rin. Okay. Open pa siya. So, once Walang round limit yun? Walang limit yun. Oh. Kaya, we're just nagpe-pray na lang kami kapag umabot na siya sa 500, sa 1,000. <laughs> kasi walang, we think na we might need to extend the leaderboard and race heat to two days. Take two days kasi kapag ganun sobrang dami ng yeah. um, participants. We've seen you sa how other games here in the Philippines are. Sobrang dami talaga. And then, mm-hmm. we want that. We want the same thing First. for GR GT Cup. So, yung question ni Eric is, how early can you sign up for the next race weekend? So, ang question ko man, how late can you sign up? Anong deadline? Walang um, limit sa number, always, so you can accommodate everybody. Pero hanggang kailan pwede? We, we have a notification always din sa, ano namin, sa microsite and then sa Facebook, Toyota's Facebook page, kung kailan yung last day and how many days you can sign up for each round. So, we really encourage not just um, yung assets ni DMP but also um, top applications to p- promote the messaging na, guys, this is the last time that you can sign up for round 2 or round 3. Mm-hmm. Uh, make it count, don't forget to sign up because um, ang ganda ng prices and then you get to enjoy motorsport safely in your home. So, yeah, yeah we make sure na we promote those messages um, from time, uh, every time. Kaya, we maximize the type of the number of participants. For now, round 2 is still very much open. Anyone can join, please join. Um, make, make it hit 500 participants para go and sleep. <laughs> Kasi we're very excited for that. <laughs> willing na willing mag si Jamie, oh. Yes! <laughs> Gano'ng katagal yung 200, uh, 200 uh, racers sa leaderboard challenge? How many hours was that? Um, Around 3 hours. Kasi we open multiple lobbies para makapag uh, makapasok yung mga participants. Okay. So at the time, we can accommodate 30 participants per um, when we open around 3 lobbies. Um, last year, tatlong lobby lang yung inopen namin. Pero hmm. ngayon, numaabot na kaming pito. Kasi sobrang wow. dami talaga na kailangan namin um, buksan sabay-sabay para makapasok sila. 
lahat. And then, of course, to maximize the number of participants that we have. And then, also to... Excited kasi kami kung sino malaman yung pinakamabilis. Kaya kami parang, bu- bukas ka para isang labi na malaman na natin kung sino na yung may mananalo sa round na to. Alright. Kamusta so, pala yung mga sumasali? Are these familiar names? Mga nakita nyo ba to last year? Mga, yung mga, o kaya yung mga nananalo, yung mga nag-lead nung first round. Ito ba ay yung mga kilala na natin last year? O may mga bagong muka at pangalan? It's a mixture, actually. Yeah. <laughs> It's a mixture. Um, especially for the first round, the, um, for the for the junior class. Um, a lot of them were uh, participants now of the 20, 2020 GT Cup. But most of them um, are, are are new. New participants sila. So, marami pa, marami pa rin ang uh, nagsashine uh, with their talents and skills. Um, when it comes to this promotional and sporting class, ayan, we mentioned earlier, sina Terence Laliave, sina, um, sina Robbie, um, mga matikan na sila we could say you know, para ma-experience ito and, and then there are uh, there are some who are actually transitioning uh, we have one racer who is an actual racer sa Vios Cup driving real cars so nag-transition siya into GT Cup so we are very much surprised to these kinds of uh, participants so I think it's just um, a signal no, na growing siya yeah. Yeah, from last year to this year Excited na ako malaman ko ano yung next year. <laughs> Pero bago tayo tumutok sa next year, um, after the national finals, what's next? Because I know last year, um, you sent this, di naman, you sent the drivers to the regional competition. Meron din bang gan, ganun this year? Jim, yeah, would you like to share? Uh, yes. Uh, actually, for this year, yeah, actually for this year, we want to We want to focus on um, nurturing talaga yung ating local esports landscape, sports tournament. Kasi um, since last year, we are discovering a lot more and more talents who are um, shining this kind of um, game talaga. Lalo na ngayon, uh, we, are here, we have heard of this na um, uh, Gran Turismo will become an Olympic sport. So we are now wow. preparing our local talents. Diba? We are now uh, nurturing. So we are... In constant search of these racers, of these talents, talaga. So right now we're focusing on. Tama-sama tayo dito. Let's let's search for the best Filipino racer. So wala pang oh, balita nice. if there's gonna be a an Asian meet pareho ng last season. We're still in uh we're still in communication with our partners. Uh, okay. But we're looking forward to the future na mas ma-expand pa natin yung co- coverage yeah. no, ng race. Got it. Now, who g- Galing na ang agad yung sinisumulan at pinaghahandaan yung Olympics, ha? <laughs> for, for people who want to join, uh, what do they need? Anong kailangan nila to be able to participate? Oh my gosh! Jay would be very, very excited to just give you a rundown of the um, list of requirements that you need. Go um, ahead, so Jay. <laughs> Hindi <laughs> natin mga okay. sinashopping ni Jamie. Yeah, para sa shopping list for Jamie. Check. Shopping Check. list talaga. Okay. So, for, ano, for, we have our general requirements, no? Uh, so, basically, we have our Sony PlayStation na meron kang active PSN account plus a PS Plus subscription. And then, to join the the game, you have must have the Gran Turismo Sport, GT Sport. And then, yung, yung gaming controller. So, either you have the gaming pad, the gaming controllers, or you have your Um, gaming rig, whichever works for you, and then active Facebook account, and then separate your stable and fast internet. And then for registration, um, we'll just need their name, email address, contact number, and then your uh, PSN um, account information. And then you know, you're ready to go. You're good to go. And they don't have to pay for anything, no? Registration? May bayad ba yung registration? No, the registration is all free. Yes. Um, We just want you to enjoy. <laughs> And sure, masaya talaga. And the fun is not limited to the participants, to those driving, no? Pwede rin mag-enjoy yung mga katulad ko na baka next year pa ako sumali. <laughs> <laughs> Pwede bang manood? Yes. Yes. yes! yes, So we're streaming on May 28 and 29 sa the, um, Facebook page on Toyota Motor Philippines for their second round. And then we have on June 18 and 19, Uh, and then the final round on June 20 on yes June 26 okay so this is on okay. facebook yes 
official page of Toyota Motor Philippines. So ah, it pays to you. like and follow. All right. Only only Facebook or YouTube? Ah, it's all. So uh, we also stream to YouTube. If, YouTube. Eh. Uh, we also have viewers there, so we stream it simultaneously. Okay. And if you missed it, you can actually go back and just see kung sino yung mga participants that you really want to watch out for, kasi yun yung gusto mo talunan for this year. So it's a yeah. really good recap of the competition also. Are there? Is there what like time, what any? What time is it streaming? Um, every 8 p.m. Um, exactly 8 p.m. will be live. So we're hoping for everyone, please join us and watch with us. So on both days, Sat Friday and Saturday, 8 p.m. Yes. yes. All right. For for people who plan to join, are, are there my grounds for disqualification, ba, or anything like that? Um, I well, our secretariat team, which is um Tawson Racing. They really sift through the participants, and then what's good about them is that they also do online background checks with each participant before they include yung participant na yon sa private Facebook page namin. So we have really one thing good about it is that para rin siyang really a community. Kasi once you've joined, kasama na ka na sa group forever. Mm-hmm. So you get to see the updates, yeah. and then you get to see the people, talk to them online. So, my grounds for, if ever there will be grounds for disqualification, um, siguro if may smile na promotional sporting or sporting sa promotional. But before that happens naman, um, our team, our racing team, to us, notif- notifies us and lets us know the case before they proceed to any disqualification okay. action. Okay. Si Jamie lang yung disqualified eh. <laughs> 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 Si Jamie mobilis to as nag nakita ko to nag nagde-demo demo drive to si Jamie nakita ko yung name niya dun sa ano Oy Eh bibili na nga ng upuan eh nakapila na nga siya eh di ba bibili ng chair Palagay ko nagpupuyat din to eh Is is there trash talking may nadidinig ba kay mga trash talking while the race is going on na when we tried the e-racing for us DMP last year nung um, media influencer round mayroon pong trash talking talaga <laughs> kasi hindi siya maiiwasan talaga I would like to commend my teammate Raymond Ramos kasi for the first time na he did it it was below 60 seconds and I'm like doon na nagsimula ang trash talking but you see talaga how fast the, uh, yung performance sobrang <laughs> now, I believe may pinag-uusapan um, a few months back na baka yung Vios Cup din daw was gonna become an e-race. Uh, is still that is that still the case or um, baka mag, mag real race na tayo on the track with uh, with the Vios Cup for 2021? What's the news oh, there? Oh, Jim, we'll be very yes. excited to the story. Oh, sobrang ano ko, sobrang excited ako dito kasi um Vios Cup is slated to start in July of That's this right. year. And so oh, we are so we're ex- yes, so we ex- we're expecting um uh familiar faces, familiar names, uh mga professionals. Um so abangan na kailangan abangan niya kung sino sino yung mga sasali na yan kasi uh these racers have been practicing, have been um, preparing so much for for this event. And what's good about this since sumasabay tayo dun sa developments in um in sports, um we are we are hosting this um also on time. So, wow. marami ang business. Even if, even if you're not in the speedway in itself, you can still watch the races on time. So we, uh, we have been preparing for this for this cup for a long time. We have uh, we have prepared so much well dito. So we are uh, inviting everyone na abangan yung details. So please follow the Facebook page of Toyota Motor Philippines para makuha yung details about the coming news cup. Is it still via Gran Turismo or no? It's an actual race, na. I'm sorry, you didn't say, did you say virtual or it's going to be on track? Oh, oh it's going to be on track? Thing. Actual. Wow. Yes. wow. <laughs> so, yung race, actual, as in sa race track, as in sa yes. race. As Pero yung audience, pwede online. Yes. Oh, sa CIS, sa Clark tayo? Nice. See you there, sir. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, Finally, it's back. But uh, obviously, marami pa kayong ay iron out na na health protocols dito, no? But obviously, the racers are gonna be on track, and it's gonna be streamed live. Yes. Yes. I can't wait. This is gonna be exciting. Wow! Finally, so, the video stop. <laughs> <laughs> Sa, sa, contro- sa controller ka na lang daw muna na na medyo hardcore na dito sa on, on the track. <laughs> on the track. squad na lang ako. So this is July. Uh, definitely yes. a lot of a lot of race enthusiasts, auto enthusiasts uh, will def- will want to check this one out. So I can't wait for that. Um, are there any promos na ongoing with Toyota you want to share with us while we're while we're here? Of course. Um Ongoing this May, we have our May, uh, May promotion for um, our select models of different um, Toyota vehicles. So we call it uh, today. Uh, tomorrow starts today, ayan. So you can check out the official website of Toyota Motor Philippines para dun sa details and how much you can save actually if you if you um, get a Toyota today. So marami kang savings either for monthly payments or for outside cash. Um, some select models come with free insurance. Um, free maintenance and marami pa iba. It's, a, it's a very very um, good deal to get one now and uh, this is going to be for several models ano? yes yes, yes across, across many All models right. excellent news uh, please invite young listeners and viewers um, to uh, try and join the uh, GR Supra GT Cup Philippines 2021 hi everyone to please join the GRGT Cup Philippines 2021 round 2 registration is still open and uh, we also want to invite everyone to watch the race weekend for round 2 and then we'll announce shortly when you can join round 3 um, don't miss this chance because there are very very lucrative prizes waiting for the winners of the national round and the final winners of the national round so we'll see you there we'll see Gearbox team um, watching with us cheering with us definitely so um, be there for I hope everyone watch can watch this one a very so exciting time again um, oh. they can stream it sa Toyota um Toyota Facebook and Toyota YouTube. That's Toyota Motor Philippines in Facebook and Toyota Motor Philippines on YouTube as well. Very exciting times for you guys. Very busy, but uh, a lot of fun. So many things going on. Uh, there's a promo. Check out the website uh, and uh, also ongoing uh, GR Supra GT Cup Philippines 2021. Sumali na kayo. Just round two pa lang. So still plenty of opportunities. Yes. To catch up. I don't know if you guys can because magagaling yung mga racers. Uh, I saw the winners nung uh, round one, and these are some really, really good names from I, I already saw from last year. So you, good luck with that. And then looking forward to the uh, Vios Cup happening uh, sometime in July. Uh, great yes. having you guys on the show again. Thank you very much. You stay safe, and we'll see you again soon. Mula sa PR and Communications Department ng Toyota Motor Philippines, uh, Jamie Mejia and JM Oleo. We'll take a quick break. Gearbox will be back right after these. Itodo na ang Slinyador, Forward, and Speed Up with Gearbox sa Radio Pilipinas, 738 AM. Mayroon ng mga bakuna para mapigil ang hawaan o malalang kaso ng COVID-19. Pero nais rin ng pamalaan na mapabilis ang paggaling ng mga kababayan nating nagkasakit dahil dito. Hopefully, pag natapos yung trial sa ivermectin, ay magkaroon tayo ng mas reliable estimates ng epekto ng ivermectin bilang isang antiviral agent. Marami tayong possible therapeutics na pwedeng makatulong sa recovery period. Kagaya po nung aming eksperimento sa virgin coconut oil at ganoon din po yung lagundi ay kasalukuyang pong isinasagawa na rin ang trial. Kaya naman, hindi tumitigil ang ating mga eksperto sa pagsasagawa ng mga pag-aaral at paghahanap ng mga karagtakang solusyon. May bago po kaming inaprobahan na clinical trial. Aming susubukan naman po 
ay isang bagong formularyo na methyl prednisolone na isa pong steroid. Kaya marami po tayong sinusubukan, hindi man bakuna ay makakapagpabilis po sa recovery kung sakali. Tamang impormasyon lamang ang pakinggan. Disinformation at misinformation ay ating labanan, lalo na kung ang usapan ay patungkol sa ating kalusugan. Isang mensahe mula sa Radyo Pilipinas. Pagtiyak ng gobyerno, Husto ang bilang ng bakunang nakalaan. We have already completed the term sheets of the five vaccines companies and we were able to secure 108 million doses. We are now preparing for the supply agreement and finalizing all the contracts for 148 million doses. Hakbang bawat hakbang, may planong nakalatag ang pamahalaan. From January, February and March, iniintend po natin na ma-prioritize po natin ang ating healthcare workers and the government essential services and institution for the second quarter We will build vaccination confidence by protecting our vulnerable sectors. The four communities, including economic frontliners, for the third quarter, we will start our massive nationwide rollout. Sa fourth quarter, we intend to finish the inoculation of 50 to 70 million Filipinos. Sa krisis pang kalusugan, bawat mamamayan ay kabilang sa tugon ng pamahalaan. Patulad po na sinasabi ng ating mahal na Pangulo na walang maiiwan at walang iiwanan. Pakinggan ang bawat kaganapan sa bayan, manatiling updated at maalam. Radyo Pilipinas Bilang ng COVID cases sa bansa, hindi pa rin bumababa. Mga bakuna para sa mamamayan, hindi pa rin sapat para sa lahat. Pero muli, pamalaan ay nagpaalala, walang maiiwan, walang papabayaan. Do not be afraid. Government is working. Government is busy doing everything, not nothing. Government is trying to get the things to fix all of us. Kapasidad ng mga ospital, lalong pinapalakas. Mas maraming COVID vaccines. Darating sa mga susunod na buwan, kalaban ay hindi man nakikita. Pero sa pagtutulungan at pagsama-sama ay malalampasan din itong pandemya. Talagang kakaiba po itong bagong virus ito. Talagang binulaga po tayo ngayon. Pero siguro sa tamang pagtutulungan ng mga alkalde, ng mga mamayan, at ng nasyonal na pamahalaan, talagang po na para sa tamang balita at impormasyon, Radyo Pilipinas. Itodo na ang Slimnyador Forward and Speed Up with Gearbox sa Radyo Pilipinas, 738 AM. Welcome back to the show. This is Gearbox sa Radyo Pilipinas, 738 AM. And live din po tayo sa Facebook uh, via Gearbox RP1 at Radyo Pilipinas 1, Eric Tipan, kasama si Nana Nadal. And we welcome uh, back to the show, Mig Torres of the Mig Torres Experience on YouTube. Migs, magandang hapon. Magandang hapon, Eric and Nana. It's good to be back on Gearbox once again. Time para gutumin ang uh, mga nakikinig sa atin sa radyo, sa Facebook, sa mga nanonood sa nang, uh, replay natin sa YouTube. Uh, magandang episode ito uh, because this talks about uh, a cuisine that I guess masasabi na natin Medyo familiar sa panlasa kasi kapit-bahay natin sila. But isa sa mga cuisines na lately ko lang talaga na-appreciate ay ang Indonesian cuisine. Mm. Yan, Indonesia. Usually pag uh, Southeast Asian food kasi una pumapasok sa isip ng, uh, ng Pilipino. Bukod sa Filipino food of course ay Thai, uh, thai, thai food, food, Vietnamese right. food. Yan. Actually, Pero oh. naintriga ko. Yes, naintriga ko sa pagkain ng Indonesia nung ginawa ko yung video ng Asian barbecue skewers which we which we talked about uh, a few months ago and na enjoy ko talaga ang Indonesian Indonesian satay so naisip ko ano pa bang pwedeng kainin na galing uh, Indonesia na being a Southeast Asian cuisine very regional din ang varieties ng Indonesian food at yung mga flavors and ingredients used eh nakadepende rin kung sa ang rehiyon nagmula yung pagkain pero Indonesians they love their spices And it's very evident sa pagkain nila, malasa, mahalimuyak ang pagkain <laughs> ng uh, <laughs> Indonesia. <laughs> mahalimuyak, <laughs> yes. Perfect nga yung word na yan. <laughs> oh, very fragrant ito no? because of the different spices that they use. And uh, mahilig din sila tulad natin sa kanin, syempre, Southeast Asian style. And condiments, no? So, uh, sa video natin over the mixed stores experience, yung tinikpan natin pagkain uh, came from Rendang Station. It's an Indonesian uh, specialty seller. They offer a variety of Indonesian goodies and yung mga in-order natin are national or were national favorites, not regional ones. And pag-uusapan natin yung iba't ibang Indonesian food na natikman ko dito sa episode na to. Simulan natin sa mie goreng. Now, ito is... Uh, 
isang spicy noodle dish na sa panlasa ko eh, actually medyo manamis na miss siya ng konti eh, no? Uh, gawa so, ito, yes. Medyo ganun. Uh, sweet, savory, uh, there's a lot of spice uh, and spices in it. Gawa sa thin yellow noodles, stir-fried in oil, may garlic, onion, shallots, may fried prawn, minsan chicken, beef or uh, meatballs, and a whole host of other ingredients. Para siyang complete meal in one na siyempre masarap din. And nung pinili ko ang spice level, pinapapili ako nung, ano eh, nung, nung uh, seller, sinabi ko, ano ba yung tamang spice? Yung parang, gusto ko si authentic yung lasa. Kung ano yung spiciness ng Indonesian, so you can oh, click mo no. Indonesian. Okay. Gusto ko. And sinabi nila sa akin, ano ba kataas ang spice tolerance, ang spicy tolerance mo? Sabi ko, ah, normal, I guess. Sir, magmahal na lang kayo kasi pag nilagay niyo sa ano oh, yeah. sa Indonesian level, that's three to four times more than what the average Filipino can take. Wow. Pero sir, bigyan yeah, niyo ng sambal sauce. Oo. And uh, alam mo, hindi bibigyan nila ako ng sambal sauce, okay? <laughs> And this made a whole host of uh, difference, no? Ibang-iba kasi nako-control ko yung yung anghang, kung kaya ko, kung oh, yeah, yeah, kaya yeah. ko pa. Yes, and hindi yung tipong sunog na hindi mo. Yung nalalasahan mo pa rin. Hmm. No? Yung pagkain. Mahirap kasi pag nagyabang-yabang ka, eh, nakaya kong maanghang, tapos hindi. Tapos umiiyak ka na habang ko makain. <laughs> hindi, hindi mo na ma-enjoy. Diba? Exactly. Oh, okay. And dami mga... Mga wala na yung panlasa mo eh. Pagka nasunog oh. na hindi mo, wala na, manhid na eh. Manhid na yan. Taste buds mo. So, kumakain ka na lang. Ang natitik mo na lang yung anghang. <laughs> hindi mo na nararamdaman yung lasa. Actually, minsan hindi mo na naaamo yung pagkain. <laughs> exactly. No? Para nasunog na lahat eh. Buti na lang parunog oh. sila na sinabi sa'yo. At ikaw, oh. ikaw, ikaw, ikaw na-control mo no? yung level of spice. Yes. And you know, uh, yung the condiment talaga, the sambal sauce, it helped a lot with my experience. Kasi nahanap ko yung uh, balance ng spiciness at yung flavor ng uh, mga kinain kong uh, Indonesian food. Now, next is another national dish, no? beef rendang. Ito ay isang uh, rich dish of meat. Most commonly, beef ang gamit dito. Ano? Um, it's braised in uh, coconut milk seasoning with herbs and spices hanggang mag-evaporate yung liquid tapos maging uh, makaramelize na. No? yung karne maging tender and caramelized. Now, ang rendang ay uh, very popular in other countries as well, um, especially those with uh, good uh, Malay population, uh, Malaysia, Singapore, Brunei, and sa Maranao dito sa Pilipinas, medyo ano rin pala, no? uh, mainstream din pala ang beef rendang sa kanila. Now, since may coconut milk siya, ang unang may isip mo agad, ah, parang curry. Pero ang totoo, yung lasa niya is a lot closer to a creamier version of the caldereta. Yan yung... Actually, uh, oo. Oh, yun nga sasabihin ko, parang caldereta to pag nakita mo eh. Oo. Oh, oh. And yung pag natikman mo siya, andun yung parang flavor niya, no? parang caldereta. Mm. Na, kasi tayo ginagamit natin pampalapot ng caldereta minsan, kung hindi keso, liver spread. Mm-hmm. Sa kanila, ang gamit, coconut milk. So, ganun yung, ginag- ganun yung method. Pero, um, I recommend na you taste this dish as well kung di nyo pa natatry, guys. Para, um, It's spicy to mix, di ba? Yes, it is. It is. But they were able to bring it down to a certain level na, na matitake ng uh, weak taste buds ko. <laughs> so, tinatanong ka rin ba kung anong gusto mo ng level of spice? Yes, uh, oh, for okay. for all of the for all of the different dishes, tinanong nila ako kung ano yung gusto kong level of spiciness. And yun nga sinuggest nila dahil uh, muntik na ako magtapang-tapangan. <laughs> Para sa authentic Kaya, feel and authentic taste. Kailangan ng humility. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Magpapakumbaba po tayo dahil hindi kaya ng dila ko ang anghang. Hindi ko pa ginagawa yung mga spicy noodle uh, challenge na yan dahil talagang susuko ako. Isang subo pa lang. Um, next natin is nasi goreng which is another national food of Indonesia. is Indonesian fried rice. Uh, at ito yung sin- sinangag na merong labuyo. No? Siling labuyo. 
Um, <laughs> oo. oo. Uh, talagang mararamdaman mo siya, eh, no? yung sipa niya. Yung sa akin, mild lang, pero mararamdaman ko pa rin kahit papano. And ang kinaibahan ng nasi goreng sa mga Asian fried rice is it's it's very smoky and caramelized din itong uh, itong fried rice na ito. So, andun yung lasa na yun. Smoky because of the spices. That, ang daming spices na ginamit din dito sa uh, nasi goreng. At tulad ng adobo natin, wala rin siyang set recipe. No? Daka depende yan kung sinong pamilya ang nagluluto ng nasi goreng. Parang gano'n sa atin, adobo. Kung sinong pamilya, yun yung ano, yun yung, uh, yun yung flavor na matitikman mo. Now, uh, typical seasonings for nasi goreng kasi salt, chili pepper, spring onions, turmeric, which probably gives it, uh, yun yung isa sa mga nagbibigyan ng smokiness dito. No? Uh, palm sugar, um, ground garlic, and ketchup manis, which is uh, dark soy sauce, dark sweet soy sauce. Yun. Um, minsan yung leftovers, uh, ng, yung mga leftovers nila, ginagamit nila pang halo sa nasi goreng, and they top it with a fried egg. And maraming, a lot of times, they use the, or they eat this during breakfast, itong nasi goreng. Next natin, is, uh, well, nabanggit ko na ito maraming beses sa Gearbox. So, you won't go deep into it. Satay or meat skewers. Pero itong satay kasi ng Indonesia, um, yung pampalasa na ginagamit niya, hindi turmeric. Ang gamit niya is ketchup manis and shallots. So, medyo masibuyas yung lasa, manamis na miss. It's another national dish of Indonesia, just like rendang and nasi goreng. And kadalasan, yung stick nito mahaba, yung karne, sa dulo lang konti. Yun yung ano niyan, yun yung uh, karakteristik ng nasi gas, nasi goreng, ng satay, ng satay ng uh, Indonesia. Now, meron akong in-order na hindi kasama sa video ito, no? pero in-order ko lang, na-curious lang ako eh, kasi authentic din, Indonesian din. soft drink. Yes, dun din. Uh, same, uh, same soft seller. Soft drink? Indonesian, well, uh, it's kind of like, a, so it's made by a soft drink soft company. Drink. It's tea, bo- it's bottled tea. Mm. Ang tawag sa kanya, tea bottle. No? And it's made by a popular uh, soft drink company there. And it's basically bottled sweet and jasmine tea na medyo mapakla sa umpisa. No? Pero as you as you go along with your meal, as you get, you get further, mas na-enjoy mo siya and mas nagko-complement doon sa kinakain mo. Para, ginawa ko lang siya para ma- medyo mas authentic yung... Uh, yung experience Talagang ng pagkain. Talagang binoo mo ah, yung experience. Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> Dito mo, mako- sa, sa, saan ka order niyan, Mix? Uh, it's in, uh, it's Rendang Station. You can find them over at, oh. uh, uh, over on Instagram. No? Okay. Just uh, key in Rendang Station and may, ma, makapag-order uh, na kayo sa kanila ng different uh, Indonesian. They deliver? They deliver, yes. They delivered to my, uh, to my house in uh, Mandaluyong back then. Actually, I think it's more of like pinag, uh, I had to book it book it through uh, uh, courier service like Grab or uh, oh, Food Panda. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. So, kung hindi wow. makatravel sa Indonesia, kumain exactly. sa Indonesia. the next best thing. Always oh. the next best thing to, under, to understand the culture, to appreciate the culture of different countries, not just Southeast Asian countries, but worldwide. Tikman nyo ang pagkain nila the way it's meant to be. Nice. Now, this episode, is, yes, this episode is actually uh, the most watched video over at the Mixed nice. Torres Experience. Maliit pa lang ang channel natin. So this all, this has a total of 2,600 views or, or a little bit over 2,600 views and uh, malaking bagay po na umabot ang viewership ng isang maliit na channel above 2,000 and I thank everybody who uh, took time out to watch the video and sa mga sumusuporta po sa Mixed Stories Experience. Maraming salamat sa pag-subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, all you have to do is go to YouTube and key in the Mixed Stories Experience. If you want to watch the video, it's Indonesian food in Manila, Philippines sa The Mig Stories Experience. Kung magustuhan niyo po yung video, click a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Congratulations, I guess Galing! I na interesado sa Indonesian food ang mga fans mo. That's right. Yes, and a lot of them actually came for actually more, more of Indonesians interested on how 
uh, the Philippines has its take on Indonesian oh. food because I I saw in my stats, no, may kita kasi na mga creators ng stats nila. A lot of them, most of them were from Indonesia, yung mga nanood. So uh, if you're curious about it, go ahead and watch it over at the channel. Nice. Now I can't wait. Uh, nakatikim na ako ng Indonesian food but uh, the way the way you describe it parang gusto ko gusto ko tuloy kumuha ng isang buong meal na oh. uh, kasi analyze mo bawat subo eh uh, <laughs> Indonesian dishes maraming salamat again Mig Torres for another eye opening and mouth watering description of uh ito, Indonesian cuisine nga uh, till next time check out new episodes of Mig's uh, Mig Torres experience on YouTube every Thursday morning. Tama, no? yes. Every Thursday yes. morning. Thanks, Mix. Uh, we'll take a quick break. We'll back in Gearbox right after these. Back. Ang unang bakunang nakarating sa bansa. Thank you. Ito'y marami pa ang may pangamba at pagpababakuna ay palak na ipagpaliban muna. Kaya naman, ilan sa ating mga doctors and nurses, isa-isa nang nagpaturok para patunayan kaligtasan at hindi panta sa kalusugan ang bakunang ito. Doon po sa amin sa PGH, medyo mukhang dumami po talaga no? after the second day. Siguro hindi tayo din nila kami pagpapakuna ni Director Gam. Ako po kasi dati director din ako ng PGH. Tapos kasama namin yung mga ibang mga doktor po na no? nakasamaan namin na ibang specialist sa PGH ang nagpapakuna ako. At nakita naman nila na wala naman pong hindi ka nais-tais na nangyari sa amin. At hopefully makadagdag po ito ng konti no, sa confidence ng ating mga kasamahan. Patuloy pa rin namang ipinapaliwanag ng mga eksperto na ang bawat bakuna ay sinusuring mabuti bago mapayagang magamit at iturok sa publiko. Ang pagkakaroon po ng bakuna ay hindi simpleng bagay. Marami pong pinagdaanan po at marami pong eksperto ang tumingin bago po maglabas ng desisyon ng ating FDA. So napakalaki po na aking kumpiyansa na basta po aprobado ng ating FDA, ito po ay siguradong mabisa, ligtas, at may kalidad. Kaya kailangan po tayo bilang mga mamamayan, lalong-lalo na yung mga at-risk po, katulad ng healthcare workers, ang mga may edad na iba pang sakit, kung mabigyan po tayo ng oportunidad na bigyan ng bakuna, tanggapin po natin. Dahil ito po ay ating pagkakataon upang sa lalong madaling panahon, tayo po ay mabigyan ng proteksyon. Hindi lang po lamang sa infeksyon, hindi pati po sa simptomas, sa severe disease, sa hospitalisasyon, at huwag naman po ipahintulot kahit po sa pagkamatay. Kaya pawiin ang pangamba sa mga tamang impormasyon at balita lamang maniwala. Res Bakuna, sama-sama tayo sa Vida Vaccination. Isang mensahe mula sa DOH, KBP, PCOO, Philippine Broadcasting Service, Radio Pilipinas, Republika FM1, Capital FM2, at Integrated News Team. Bilang ng COVID cases sa bansa, hindi pa rin bumababa. Mga bakuna para sa mamamayan, hindi pa rin sapat para sa lahat. Pero muli, pamalaan ay nagpaalala, walang maiiwan, walang papabayaan. Do not be afraid. Government is working. Government is busy doing everything, not nothing. Government is trying to get the things to fix all of us. Kapasidad ng mga ospital, lalong pinapalakas. Mas maraming COVID vaccines darating sa mga susunod na buwan. Kalaban ay hindi man nakikita, pero sa pagtutulungan at pagsama-sama ay malalampasan din itong pandemya. Talagang kakaiba po itong bagong virus ito. Talagang binulog ako tayo ngayon. Pero siguro sa tamang pagtutulungan ng mga alkalde, ng mga mamayan, at ng nasyonal na pamahalaan, talagang po na akong imposible. Para sa tamang balita at impormasyon, Radyo Pilipinas. Sa ating mga kapatid na Muslim, ang araw na ito ay sumisimbolo sa pagtatapos ng panahon ng pag-aayuno. Isang mahalagang pagdaraos ng papuri, pasasalamat at pamamahagi. Eid Mubarak. Ang Philippine Broadcasting Service at Radyo Pilipinas ay nakikiisa sa ating mga Muslim brothers and sisters sa pagdiriwang ng Eid el Fitr. Mag-iisang taon buhat ng ang gobyerno ay magdeklara ng quarantine dahil sa pandemya. Community quarantine is hereby imposed. Pamala ay pinagsumikap ang punan ang pangangailangan ng buong bayan. I issued an order in implementing the Bayanihan to heal as one act. Maraming naging pagsubok, ngunit nananatiling nakatayo. At ngayon, kislap ng pag-asa ang hatid ng bakuna. Today we make 
another step towards in our going fight against COVID-19 as we receive 600,000 Corona Vap doses. We heal as one. Ito na ang simula. Sama-samang babangon mula sa krisis pang kalusugan. Katuwang ang pamalaan. Tayo'y tutungo sa magandat ligtas na bukas. Let us demonstrate unity in our shared task of nation building and healthy society of every Filipino. Isang mensahe ng pag-asa mula sa Philippine Broadcasting Service at Radyo Pilipinas. Isang taon na tayong lumalaban sa COVID-19 at totoong nakakabahala na muli na namang tumataas ang bilang ng mga kaso. Yung po pagtaas ng mga kaso ay uh, patuloy at ito po ay natukoy dito po sa lalong-lalo na sa National Capital Region. Ipat ibang variant ng virus ay nakapasok na rin sa bansa pero pamalaan ay maagap pa rin at hindi naman nagpapabaya. Ang kaagara, kilos o aksyon ng mga LGU and the national government ay talagang ginawang mabilisan at agresibo at uh, kailangan matustusan po itong mga hakbang na ito para maputol ang kadena ng hawaan at masiguro natin na ang kanila pong inilatag na mga pamamaraan ay talaga po magiging epektibo para mapababa ang kaso ng COVID. Pangulong Duterte, muli na naman tayong siniguro na walang Pilipino ang maiiwan sa gobyernong ito. I know, lahat kayo, lalo na mga kababayan ko na dyan sa Spadasaria, lahat kayo, huwag kayong matakot at hindi ko kayo iwanan. Mula ng pag-asa at parang eh, bandunog kayo ng gobyerno. Hindi yung mangyari yan. Maghintay-hintay lang kayo. Aabotin ko rin kayo. Sa pandemya ay hindi tayo magpapatalo. Basta't sama-sama, kaya natin to. Isang mensahe mula sa DOH, KBP, PCOO, Philippine Broadcasting Service, Radio Pilipinas, Republika FM1 at Capital FM2. Itodo na ang Slimyador, Forward and Speed Up with Gearbox sa Radio Pilipinas, 7.38 AM. Magandang gabi and welcome back to Gearbox dito sa Radio Pilipinas, 7.38 AM. We're live on the AM band at live din po tayo online on Facebook. Find us on Gearbox RP1 at sa Radio Pilipinas Uno. Eric Tipan kasama si Nana Nadal. And from one food item to many food items, uh, kasama po natin ang President and Chief Operating Officer ng uh, Kitchen City Frozen Meals, June Abelardo. Magandang gabi sir, thank you for being with us on the show. Good evening Eric, good evening Nana, and thank you very much for this opportunity. So, ang dami na namin questions sa inyo kanina off-air, no? Pero unahin muna natin na introduce yung Kitchen City sa ating mga nakikinig at nanonood. Um, ano po ba mga products ng Kitchen City? Yeah, akala ko nga na, na kanina naka-on-air na tayo. Eh. Pasarap na yung kwento. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, again, uh, good evening to all your uh, all your followers. no I, I don't know if I call it tama ba, televiewers or followers. Yeah. Good evening at magandang gabi ho sa inyong lahat. Um, Kitchen City, just quickly, um, Kitchen City is the biggest food concessionaire in the Philippines. Hindi lang siya masyadong kilala because the business model is business to business. This, this is contracting food concession. So, hindi siya business to customer wherein you'll have a lot of marketing campaigns kasi diretso sa customer. So, Kitchen City, yung main business platform niya really is, well, food concessionaire of companies. So we have roughly around 100 companies that we serve all over Luzon and the Visayas. And these are the huge ones, you know, the top multinational companies, the top Filipino companies, and even the hospitals, you know, yung top three biggest hospitals, that's Makati Med, the Medical City, and St. Luke's. Kami ho yung pagkain doon. No? So, wow. Yeah, so... And even the, ano, the, the airline industry, manufacturing, we are so big in BPO. Kasi alam nyo naman, ang pagkain is something that is very essential. Especially for people na overnight, no, yung medyo may critical hours ang kanilang chef. So mm-hmm. talaga, we make it really very serious that we serve them well. So that's actually Kitchen City. No, yan, yung, yan yung Kitchen City. No, um, before the pandemic, ang pinapakain ni Kitchen City, roughly around 100,000 people on a daily basis. So, wow. so you can just imagine the, the magnitude or the operational excellence that, that, is, that, that is needed to make that happen. 
because one big false move, which I don't want to happen, I go to jail. No, that's why I re would we in Kitchen City we are really dead serious with food safety because this is not just a matter of simpleng nagluto, simpleng pakain yeah. to a few people at saka baka magkasakit and saka. No, no. So that's we're right. We're feeding manufacturing people down south 24 by 7 na pag nagkaroon lang ng konting aberya sa food, you'll affect the entire line of a production that's line and it will that's take That's right. A whole, so, a whole production week will be down pagka hindi makapasok yung mga yan because of uh you know uh, a food food related issue. Tama oh, kayo. And it's not just the, the cost itself, no? yung mawawalang malaking pera, but primarily because you want to make sure that we're taking good care of individuals. No? Every right. customer of Kitchen City is important to us. So in a nutshell, that is Kitchen City. Now, biglang nagkakaroon ng kuwanting noise about Kitchen City lately because of the new product offering. I mean, to be honest with you, I'm getting a lot of interviews left and right and some wow. some some talks mga mga guest speaker of some big conferences lately this is primarily because of the pivot model that we did during the pandemic now so if i may probably i'm sorry i'm medyo medyo ano ako makwento so i hope you know oh, we love we love that sir we we have a lot of time for you so okay uh, kwento away sir so yun, so kung ibabalik ko kayo doon sa setup namin, ang setup ng Kitchen City doon sa 100 outlets that we operate, ano yan, um, o mga half of that is serviced by the main commissary in Taguig. We have a huge commissary here. It's around uh, 4,000 square meters. And then wow. mga isang daang chef yan, nagre-relievo, ikot lang ng ikot, mga 100 and 100 wow. plus chef. I, which, by the way, I have around 2,400 employees in the company na naka-deploy yun all over the 100 outlets. So, but half of that, merong mga on-site kitchen. So, kung mapapansin nyo, we just delivered the raw material there, tapos lulutuin doon at papakainin. But for outlets na walang kitchen, so normally ito yung nasa um, uh, business area, uh, like Makati, BGC, na very strict ang building for this kind of LPG connection, open fire, and what have you. So ito walang kitchen to. So this one is supported by our main kitchen. We deliver it. We deliver the food there, and we follow Ooh, this. Na. Yes, we follow this this uh, process, food process, na cook, freeze, and regenerate. Mm. And we've been doing that for more than ten years now. So that is the acceptable process, international, uh, that's the international accepted process for transporting uh, a cooked food. Kasi yun yung pinaka-stable. It is so difficult to transport hot food. Kasi pag bumaba na yung temperature below 60, the bacteria is starting to grow. Oh, okay. Right? So, so that's the reason. That's the reason why pala po, no? Oh, once, yeah. the, once it cools down, but there's chances of bacteria to grow? Parang That's gano? correct. No? So, ang, ang danger zone mo talaga is actually higher than 8 degrees centigrade. So, that's the chill temperature and below 60 degrees. Okay. Kaya sa cafeteria, you'll be seeing bain marie. Yung mga bain marie, yung mga, yung lalagyan ng food. That is, that is, that has a 60 degrees Celsius temperature. Mm. And may maximum holding time lang yun. You, you, ang maximum nun, normally around three to four hours. After that, it is now medyo nasa critical area na yon, medyo unsafe na yon. So wow. talaga, we've, we've mastered that process because of our huge operations. Okay, so hindi lang din sa basta-basta eh. You need to understand your menu, your profile. You need to understand how it should be cooked. Sabi, tama si Nana kanina, no? na napansin niya na bakit ganun hindi nagda-dry hindi nasisira yung quality when you regenerate. I think the general term for that is regenerate that's really, the food. That's, that's really the term for it? Regenerate the food? Regenerate. <laughs> okay. Eating kasi more on parang mas parang simple lang, di ba? Like microwave or yep. hit mo sa pan. 
Pero ang idea mo, ang idea doon, regenerate mo yung cook food. Regenerate. Teka okay. okay. lang, okay. mga advance tayo eh. Nandun pa lang tayo sa yung business nyo, nagde-deliver kayo ng frozen food sa mga cons- outlets. And yes. And then you regenerate it there. And then, nagka-pandemic. So, anong nangyari? That's correct. Okay. So, yun, uh, in-explain ko kanina, it needs right equipment. You need to have the right process and you need to have the right people who understand the process for you to do this in a large scale. In a smaller scale, medyo, medyo kaya, but in a larger scale, the, the, the risk goes higher. Kaya dapat you, 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 you follow that. Now, fast forward. So the business was doing okay. No? Fast forward, mga January, February last year, maalala ko yun, sa board, we were already following the Wuhan incident. Kasi medyo, ano kami, um, uh, nasa nature namin na tumingin ng best practice outside the Philippines to make sure that we're ahead of the competition, especially in this business. Kasi kami yung biggest, eh, kami yung number one market share. Dapat hindi ka mag-relax, di ba? Dapat lagi kang una sa, sa innovation. Sure. Napansin namin doon sa Wuhan, January pa lang, nag, may mga closure na. Sasara ng mga, nagsasara ng mga skwelahan. Mm-hmm. Work from home arrangement, nagiging norm na. Tapos yung gathering, yung mass gathering, sinara. So if you look at our portfolio, around 40%, 35 to 40% of our business will be affected. No? Lalong-lalo na yung, because we're big in catering. Kami yung uh, uh, partner ng World Trade Center, SMX, these are huge uh, events no um the biggest yeah. event that we did around 15,000 people in one sitting so yun hindi yeah. yun kaya ng normal caterer eh. kailangan mo doon ng tamang equipment tamang process para hindi kaya napapanisan so anyway nasa side track lang ako so if you look at our prior to the pandemic when we're reviewing our our business 35 to 40% will be greatly affected. Schools will close. So, paano yung mga schools now? I'm operating big universities here in, in Manila. So, magsasara yun, ano? Yung aming catering firm that is so big, big lang sarado lahat yun. So, ang unang pumasok sa amin, and this is true, hindi lang ito pakyot, Nana Eric, no? Uh, isip namin, ano mangyayari sa mga empleyado? What will happen to them? 2,400 and majority would be the one in the operations and medyo very close kasi ako sa mga yan because yan talaga yung aming battle cry sa negosyong ito eh. Um, commissary can be duplicated overnight, best truck equipment, you can you can buy that abroad. no. But duplicating the right attitude, the right competency development, and the commitment of the people to, to, to do so in this kind of business is something that you cannot do yeah. overnight. So talagang medyo protective ako dyan sa mga sa mga tao namin sa Kitchen City. So naisip namin yun, paano mangyayari nun? Ano mangyayari pag nagsara and how long? No? So ang ginawa namin ganito, we were we were basing on the basic principle na ang tao kahit nasaan, kailangan pa rin kumain. So yung mga tao nasa schools, yung mga tao nasa corporate, nasa BPO, kung nasaan ka man, Pag nilipat ka somewhere, in fact, mas mamong problema ka because you're not used to that kind of routine. Mm-hmm. Di ba? Sanay ka na may kantin ka eh. Pag lunch na, oh. sanay ka na. Eat out kayong magkakaibigan, labas, tawid, merong restaurant na gusto nyo. Ganon. E ito, binago nyo. Paano? So sabi natin, sandali, I think it is also our obligation to our clients being a, the biggest food concessionaire in the Philippines to present an alternative solution for food access. Yun yung basic pivot principle nito. So ang ginawa namin, naisip namin, ilkaya natin for the last 10 years that we cook here, we freeze, we deliver to our site, and, and the quality is preserved, why not deliver direct to the Houses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So, so wala man na bago sa proseso, pero nag-reinvest ako. Kasi, syempre, yung, yung process, yung line, was actually for the canteen. So, syempre, mas malalaking mga serving size yun. Saka yung packaging doon, ano yun, ito yung mga boilable na 
plastic container na see-through na pang own use, hindi siya pang marketing. No? Hindi siya yung the packaging that you said a while ago, Nana. So yun, nag-reinvest kami sa packaging, nag-reinvest kami sa production line here. Kasi parang iniisip ko, yung dating 35, 40 outlets na nagsiserve, bigling masisentralize sa komisari. So nag-prepare kami noon. Pre-prepare talaga yung investment doon. Second, in-anticipate namin na the, the delivery will be a hit. Pagpasok, pag, pag, yung Wuhan incident, pag dumating sa Philippines, delivery will be the way to go. That's it. No? Kasi yun yung nakita namin eh, in the first mm. so, so sabi namin, merong third-party delivery in the Philippines. I, I, I don't think I can mention it here. No? Naisip namin, it will clog. I'm sure a lot of people will go to that. No? So sabi namin, okay, second solution. Yung mga taong mawawala ng trabaho, gawin nating delivery team. Oh, so you have your own delivery team? Yes. yes. So, oh, lahat po. So, sabi ko sa kanila, announcement, sino yung may mga motor? <laughs> sino, <laughs> ngayon, dalawa po sa motor, eh, di ba? Kaya nga, sa dami ng motor sa kalsada, either you you find them anywhere, no? sa taas ng kotse mo, sa ilalim ng kotse mo, o sa, sa side ng... <laughs> so, sino may motor? Majority. So, sabi ko, halika dito. We, we, will, we will create a delivery team. Okay, second, yung ma-accommodate natin, yung talagang, talagang malapit, yung, nag-create din kami ng, 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 ano, ano, ng uh, uh, protocol doon. I-re-redeploy natin sa main office. Kasi from decentralized is decentralized. Third, meron akong mga business hubs all over Metro Manila. Yung mga stock rooms namin, kasi mas, ano yan, eh, mas efficient yan in our previous model i-convert namin into stock room and delivery place nito. So, ni-ready namin. Ready namin yung February pa lang ready na. Third, ang nyo. Ano ang pinaka-importante sa lahat? Ang pinaka-importante is, again, ang term na sinabi ko, provide an alternative solution. The term is solution. So, that means, one, it should duplicate of your experience before. Hindi lang kami basta we don't present ourselves as another restaurant na magde-deliver. Because nandiyan 'yan eh. It is there, no. Ang presentation namin is either palitan namin yung cook sa bahay nyo or i-duplicate namin yung experience nyo sa amin sa cafeteria namin. So yung variety hindi lang konti. Every two weeks, every three weeks maglalabas ng menu cycle, ang dami para hindi ka masuya, no. So yung kumbaga talo pa yung kakayahan ng cook mo sa bahay, yung dam. <laughs> I don't think one cook in the house can compete with my 200 chef. <laughs> Mahirap siguro i-compete yun. So, yan yung number one, the variety and you should follow a menu cycle. Para talagang hindi ka manawa. ba? Diba? Kasi pag lima, sampu lang yung SKU mo, that's not a long-term solution. Right. Diba? Maghahanap ka okay. pa ng bahay. Diba? That's why. So, klaruhin lang natin, sir. So, ang nangyari, ngayon, nagpo-provide na kayo ng frozen meals, um, hindi lang sa businesses, but to individuals, no? Yes. Available na kayo na. to the market. Yan so, yun. Yung kitchen city frozen so, meals. If I may continue, yung pangalawa, pricing. Dapat ang pricing sustainable. Hindi ka oh, parang, oh, oh, dapat oh. parang kumakain sa restaurant araw-araw. I'm, hindi ko sinisira ng restaurant. Ha? They have their own Uh, space and they have their own proposition and they are needed. Pero hindi kasi yun yung space na gusto namin laruin eh. Ito, mm-hmm. kayo yung sa bahay, yung niluluto mm-hmm. yung sa bahay, na pag nag-compute ka, economics, mas mura pa pag bumili ka nito. Uh-huh. Kasi pag nagbili ka ng raw material, hindi mo pa alam po anong lulutuin mo, nagtatapon ka ng mga hindi naluto, minsan yung niluto mo pa, hindi mo nagustuhan, hindi mo naman ako. Nagtatapon. <laughs> <laughs> Paano naman ako dyan, sir? Ano ba dyan? <laughs> so, yung dalawang yun, yun yung the entire concept, yun yung, yun yung pinaka-concept. And true enough, dumating nung March 16 ba yun? March 15 last year. Yeah, yeah. March 15. The, lockdown. Right? the president announced the lockdown, blah, blah, blah. And we were ready. One day after, one day after the lockdown, boom, announced ang KC Frozen Mills. Really? And I was really very surprised. I am a marketing professional, by the way. No? So I know how difficult it is to create a new brand, 
to create a new product and how do you penetrate in the market. Ito dahil may need overnight, grabe ang benta. Nabigla kami, nabigla kami doon sa benta kasi ang bilis eh. Um, we use the digital platform, we use the Facebook, lah lahat na pwedeng digital platform, sinabi namin. And then, may diretso kami sa mga corporations, di ba? So, yung corporations, sinabi namin, oh, kung may, may hihirapan kayong lumbas, hindi na kayo pipila ng one hour sa grocery, eto na. So, yun, talagang in the feedback, pag tinignan mo yung Facebook namin, um, balikan mo yung year ago, hindi sa pagmayabang, we're receiving a lot of thank you messages. As in thank you messages for saying na hindi nyo inabuso yung opportunity by pricing it right and then the the packaging is right. Kaya sa made safe, made delicious, ayan yung, yun yung battle cry namin. And then binigyan talaga ng solution for them. So we're receiving that. In fact, ano yun eh, mga, may mga overseas Filipino workers na, na nag-order sa amin tapos papadala nila sa nanay nila, sa tatay nila ng dito sa sa mga pinsan nila, sa mga kaibigan. So, naging ano ka, di ba? Naging, okay. naging provider ka o ba solution. Tapos yung mga nasa ibang bansa, ang pasalamat sa amin hanggang langit. Parang, oh. paano yun? Kasi kung wala yun, how do you do that? Papadala ka yeah. sa kira. Uh, what do oh. you do with that? No? You find up And for senior, senior citizens, di makakalabas. Di makakapamili. Yes. Yes. So, yun. So, through the... So fast forward, so yun yung nangyari, no? because of the pandemic, the penetration to the market was so easy and so high. And this is now the next chapter. Kasi nagtapos na, no? nag-general quarantine na tayo, nag-up and down tayo doon. We thought, no? we thought na mag-slow down yung business. Because akala namin, it was really for the pandemic. It was really for that uh, limited uh, movement. ECQ, no? Hindi na wala. Kasi there is a certain target here na ito pala yung hinahanap nilang solusyon. Number one, yung mga condo dwellers na ayaw mo magluto kasi aamoy. No? Kung magluto ka, isa dalawa lang kayo, daming tapon. So what do you do? You go out every day, you eat in the restaurant every day. That's that's heavy on the pocket. Mahal, mahal yun. Oh. Tsaka yung mga dishes, like kunwari kare-kare, napaka-complicated namang iluto, ang haba-haba, ang daming ingredients, tapos dadalawa, tatlo lang kayong kakain. Yes, yes. tama ka doon, Nana. So yan, mga condo dwellers. And I was surprised, ah, yung mga high-end subdivision here in Metro Manila, the Ayala Alabang of these words, the Forbes, we delivered there. Marami silang orders. Sabi ko nga, O kaya nangyari, di ba? May, may, may support system naman sila doon, di ba? Yep. Ang iba pala kasi... Hindi, kasi yung mga cook, busy na maghugas ng pinggan. Sigur. Dahil nasa bahay yung buong pamilya, 24-7, hugas sila ng hugas ng pinggan. Ligan ka na, di ba? Ligan ka na. Oh, no, no, I'm thinking ito oh. yung taong may lima house help, no? May anim na house. Yeah, yeah. Siguro dahil you cannot duplicate 150 chef. Di ba? May uh, limitation din yung capacity. Tapos, when it's in your ref, anytime that you want it, you will not wait for your for others to cook it for you. Di ba? Pag naaisip mo ngayon... How long can we keep it? Ano? How long can we keep it in the freezer? Kasi ma- nakalagay may, ex- may date of manufacture ba yun and then expiration date. Anong maximum? Maximum of 30 days dun sa mga proteins, yung mga meats. Okay. Meron kaming vegetable, 20 days yun. Hit, talagang sinadya namin na hindi habaan. Ito yung matagal na R&D to make sure na because of the freezing, th- that process that we follow, ito yung maximum. We would, we don't want to add a lot of preservatives there. no Wala dyan siya. No? Kasi ma- mawawala eh. Mawawala yung konsepto of a food solution. No? Ay, Ayaw namin mapunta doon sa retort, sa canned goods. Ayaw namin mapunta doon. Because again, it has its own space. May sariling ano yan, eh, proposition. So this one is a totally new proposition in this scale, in this in this large scale. So right now, um, tuloy-tuloy siya. At saka uh, meron na kaming tweak na ginagawa. No? Um, kasi right now, you order today, we deliver tomorrow. Okay, so 5 o'clock ang cut-off and then we'll deliver it tomorrow. 
Pero sa yung Eric yung free samples mo by tonight o ganun mag- <laughs> yung yung head of this of this business Mr. Ryan Atahar o prepare mo na yung sample <laughs> Sana pa pa din. Thank you. Thank you, sir. But okay. Go, going back to your to your dishes, uh, how many you serving per per pack nito, uh, Sir June? Okay. Ang basis nito sa cafeteria kasi Eric, ang grammage serving size diyan would normally be around 120 to 150 serving uh, uh, grams. grams. Yan yung nakikita niyo no when you go to a cafeteria. Yun talaga yon, yun yung size na yon. So, una namin ginawa yung family pack, which is 600 grams. So, yung 600 grams can feed roughly around 4 to 5 people. Siyempre, wala naman yung lamon talaga. Ibang usapan. Ibang serving size. Sarap. Sabihin mo, pang 4 to, pang isa lang to, di ba? Normal serving size. No? The normal serving size, again, ulitin ko, 120 to 150, that includes the sauce, some of the vegetables and the protein itself. That is the industry practice. So, yun yung ginawa namin. So, 600 grams, 4 to 5. Good for 4 to 5. Okay. Ang average niya, na, ang average per person, nasa 50 to 55 pesos ang gastos mo. Malayo. Okay, so, sir, dalawang sizes yung packaging, ano? So, 600 grams at saka 150 grams. No, may 300. So, nung nilaunch namin yung 600, ito yung evolution niya na, na no? Nung nilaunch namin yung family sa ice di po to, uh, maraming bumibili. Tapos nakiusap sa amin yung iba. Ito yung mga dalawa lang ata sa kondo. Sabi niya, June, ay, uh, sa, sa group namin na uh, hindi namin nauubos. Gusto kasi namin mas maraming variety. So, for example, if you buy the 600, uulitin mo para maubos. Hmm. Sabi namin, oo nga, no? Kaya lumabas yung 300 grams. We call it the body pack. So, in fact, uh, nice. yung, yung body pack, ano yon dapat ano pa yun, eh? Um, it's body, pero more than two yan, eh. Kasi if you look at 120, 120, 240, yun, so, yeah. baka po yung dalawa at kang maliit, no? <laughs> Mga two. <laughs> dalawa at kalahating tao. Dalawa. So, hindi po ito mag-tod. Okay. May pangatlo. May pangatlo. Sorry, Nana. May pangatlo. Nakiusap yung iba, baon. Kasi yung iba, mm-hmm. ayaw na pagluto kahit kanin sa bahay. Lalo na pag... <laughs> so sabi nila, pwede ba, can you, can you sell a complete menu, a complete, ano na, complete food na may, may side dish, may protein, at saka may one cup of rice. Pag-aralan nyo kung paano din yung process on, on frozen dyan. Eh sabi namin, again, solution, we need to do this for them. O, so naglabas kami ng ganun. Click din. So yung mga taong on a skeletal... So, may kanin. May kanin. So yung mga taong on a skeletal crew, kailangan nila pa rin pumunta sa opisina. Baon na nila yun. Pagdating nung, nung lunch, minamicrowave lang nila. O, para silang may, may bagong ulam doon. Para silang may cafeteria on site. Diba? So yan yung... So, sorry, ev- Ayun. So, yun yung evolution ng three sizes. Three. 600, packaging, no? pack, at saka yung rice mints. Rice oh. mints. So, sir, nabanggit yung ma-microwave. So, yung lalagyan, yun na mismo ang minamicrowave. Pwede bang i-microwave na yun? Yes. Convenience ang isa sa mga offering. So, dapat this should be really, really be simple. So, from frozen, in fact, dapat ganun yun. Normally, hindi mo dapat tinotow. Hmm, diretso na. Kasi ang concept kasi ng frozen meals is this, no? Yung aming, pro- uh, ang aming process before. Ang ayaw mo is six, uh, 8 to 60 temperature. You don't like that. Because that's the danger zone. That's the danger zone. That's where the bacteria grows, no? So, ang gusto namin from frozen, lumagpas ka agad to 60. Oh. In no? ganun, ganun yun. That's why it's called regenerate, no? Kaya okay. ganun, mo. Kasi pag tumagal ka doon sa 8 to 60, baka maunahan ka ng bacteria eh. Na, bacteria. Na talaga, it's all over, no? Meron lang yan maximum allowable na kaya ng chan mo, di ba? Anyway, baka mm. ma- maunahan ka eh. So, yan, dyan na nagsisimula yung sakit ng chan, a food poison, yun na yun. Kaya, mas maganda na, ang ginagawa ko, ang style ko, hindi ko dinidiretso. Uh, from 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 frozen state 
pasok ko sa uh, uh, microwave, tino two or three ko muna. Normal setting ha, kasi iba-iba ang setting ng mga microwave. Eh. Yeah. Industrial, may super high, may super mm. low. I don't want to go into to, 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 to be too technical about it. Pero yung normal setting, tinitri ko. Tapos pag three, pagkatapos ng tinitingnan ko kung okay na, tapos tinutu ko ulit. So three at two. Paglabas nun, pag inilapag mo yun sa plato, parang bagong luto yun. Brand. Nice. So oh, yung, 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 yung three... Yung tanong ko sa inyo, sir. Na, ay, okay, no, go ahead, sorry. go ahead na na. Hindi, yung tanong ko kasi, kasi yung food nyo, napansin ko, na yun nga, pag may microwave siya, Ang ganda pa rin kasi normally pag mga iniinit, iba na yung texture, yung sauce, iba na yung itsura. Um, yung sa inyo kasi parang talagang kaka-order ko lang. Yun yung feeling ko or kakalabas lang sa kusina. Kaya yung question ko nga dun is, nung ginawa nyo ba to, nung kinonceptualize, may certain ba kayong consideration na okay hanggang dito lang yung luto kasi iinitin pa yan or ano bang mga technical <laughs> ano? Yeah, no. Exacto, nahuli mo yun. Na, na, nahuli mo yun. <laughs> Proseso talaga na yun that we've been doing in supporting yung cafeteria without kitchen, yung profile and the manner of cooking is different. Kasi nga, you have, you, you need to have that end in mind na may regeneration process pa after cooking. This is not similar to a restaurant wherein after cooking you serve and eat and consume eto may proseso in fact even the freezing point nag-alter ng quality kaya even yung freezing point pinag-aralan yon ano yung type of blast freezer that we're going to use the amount of time of blast freezing meron din so may trade secret then behind that so very technical pala yon sir no Mm -hmm. uh, you you were mentioning the 3 and 2 kanina that's 3 minutes and 2 minutes so parang 5 minutes ba yung microwave time Yes, yes. Ang iba, may mga nagsasabi sa amin na medyo malamig pa daw, sini-7. So, but again, it depends on the setting. Uh -oh. Ayun, sabihan agad, Eric, na 7, baka masunog eh. Uh, baka masunog. Baka masunog, baka ang, ang high-tech ng kanyang microwave sa bahay. <laughs> Naka-high setting. That's ang mas, true. Ano, ang suggestion ko na lang, start with 2, 3, and then add 2, and then check. It just so mm. Second, uh, uh -oh. the, the, the last thing that you don't want to happen is overheat it. Kasi mm. kahit, kahit naman may proseso kami, may profile na hindi siya matutuyo or hindi magiging salty, pag sinobrahan mo talaga sa microwave, talaga, <laughs> abot ka sa state na yun. Kasalanan That's mo true. na yun, di ba? That's Hindi true. na lang pwede so, inisipin sa city yun. Kana ano yun, <laughs> di ba? Huwag ka sumobra pa sa mga 710. Yun. Alam mo sir, yung um, products nyo, no? ang, na, ang, na, ang feeling ko, okay, when I got it and when I ate it, is ang feeling ko sobra akong safe. Uh, kasi yung unang-una yung lalagyan nyo, hindi ordinaryo. Parang it, was, it looked really sturdy, mukhang hindi siya matutunaw sa microwave. Um, maganda yung pag-seal, talagang nagsiseal yung cover. And aside from that, dumating sa akin na may plastic wrapping, ano bang tawag, may pla parang nakabalot pa ng plastic yung plastic container. So talagang alam mo na hindi na tamper along the way kasi minsan yun yung fear ko eh, di ba? Na pagpunta sa akin ng pagkain, dumaan na sa akong ano yun. Um, and then, it's so properly labeled. Nandun lahat yung date, yung expiration, kailang ginawa, may mga calories-calories pa yata, um, ingredients are all there. So kung allergic ka or ayaw mo, talagang professionally done. Yun yung feeling ko. At um, may binanggit kayo kaninyang phrase, sinulat ko nga, operational excellence. Naramdaman ko yun, sir. Naramdaman ko yun dun sa product. Thank you. Mukhang kailangan ko ulit magpadala ng bagong set of sample. <laughs> Ay, hindi ako tatanggi. <laughs> <laughs> ano, na, na, uh, nakikinig ngayon yung mga staff of Kitchen City. These are the, the, the tireless no, na people who are cooking. These are the real people who are doing this. And yung sa mga sinabi mo, malaking bagay sa kanila yun. No? Thank you. Ma, ma, may inspire sila more to, 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 to make sure that they do their job well. Now, you mentioned, yeah, Sir June, kanina, your menu rotates, ano? Uh, how often? Is it a weekly thing? Uh, so, for this week, nakaset na, and then next week, magbabago? Ganun po ba yun? Ina-accumulate lang namin muna, Eric. No? So, kami dati, every two weeks, nagre-release kami ng isa. 
ganon yung yung pa, para lang hindi mabigla din yung tao kasi what I don't want to happen is dami dami nun wala ka nang mapili at saka ayaw ko rin magtapon in terms of production kasi syempre pag too much of a variety and too much of the scale and then hindi mo ma yan yung pinaka critical point in mass production yung forecasting at the end of the day ayaw mo naman magtapon ng pagkain masama yun no? masama true so ang, ang ang approach namin is right now we have more than 60 there na may seasonal. Like, for example, yung big hit last year, yung gulay na santol. Yung gulay na santol na yan, ang gumawa niyan, si Chef Dan, na 300-year-old chef. No? Wala <laughs> 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 no? And naging, naging executive chef siya ng Caribbean cruise. No? As in, ganun sa ka-extensive ka ang knowledge. Pero, super love niyang Bicolano dishes. Kasi may Bicolano siya. Gumawa sa niyang gulay na santol na yan. Uh, nabaliw yung mga tao dun sa gulay na santol. <laughs> Ang problema, seasonal. So, nawawala siya. So, wait, you know, so, I think by next week or two weeks from now, dumating na yung mga Bangkok so, santol that santol. we ordered. Oh, summer, so, santol at, season. At, 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 Ang ginagawa ng lahat nun, ganito ha. Mainit na mainit na kanin, ilalagay mo sa ibabaw yon Alagay mo sa ibabaw. Uh-huh. Meron kang kalamansi, asin sili sa side, talo-talo na. Hindi na. <laughs> hindi na rin yeah, mag- kailangan family size. <laughs> I, I have to try that. Order. Yes, yes. So, so, kung 60, so yun, uh, ayun, nagtatag over 60. na. So, 60, baka magdagdag pa yan or nagbabawas yung slow moving, fast moving. Pero dyan, yung more or less yung 60, yan na yung parang nagiging super bestseller eh. Mm. Kasi sa 60, naka one month na yun. Sorry Nana, nakakita you're saying something. Tapos no, no, no. Um, 60, hindi mo na mauubos yun. Yeah. So, kakalimutan mo na yung una mong kinain. Pwede mo That's true. Ba? That's two months. Yes. Every day bago. Yes, yes. Actually, yun nga yung sasabihin ko rin. Sa 60, pwede nang iba yung lunch, iba yung dinner for a month. Diba? That's true. Wala kang sawa talaga. That's true. And body pack yun, dalawa lang kayo. Hmm. Sakto. Oh. Sakto. Oh, oh, oh. Mga kaibigan ko, no? uh, mga friends ko, gumawa sila ng ano, these are the condo dwellers. Gumawa sila, sabi niya, John, mag-business case ako sa'yo. 60% ang nakat sa cost nila. Sabi ko, akin na yung 30%. Wow. <laughs> yung nga, sir, tatanong ko, balikan natin yung, yung, yung pricing. Sinasabi niyo kanina, what was that 55 pesos okay. per meal lumalabas? Tama po ba? Simula tayo sa vegetable. Itong vegetable na to, hindi lang to basta vegetable. Meron tong karne. No, may yeah. toppings to. So for yes. some people, this is already a buy-in. Yes. yes. Pero sa mga social katulad ni Nana, katulad ni Eric. No. <laughs> yung laing. Yung laing oh. yung daming pork strips. Yes. Yes. So imagine yung vegetable namin, ang good for four to five people, 250 pesos. Wow. wow. So, more or less 50, di ba? Hindi na ako, mago, hindi na ako mag-grocery, sir. Paano ba ito? Baguhin ko rin. Exactly. Yun nga eh. Kaya kung meron, meron talaga kaming target market to this. Talagang may nahuli kami sa population eh, na ito yung hinahanap nilang solution. Ito ang hinahanap. Pag yung body pack, 135 pesos, dalawa, tatlo na kayo, eh, saan ang makakita nun? And sabi nga ni Nana, si Nana nagsabi nun, ha? it is premium, it is premium, hindi siya naka-plastic labo lang na, alam mo yung ganon, and it has a seal of good manufacturing process and HACCP, this is FDA uh, approved, no? plus, anak ano pa to naka-CPR ito, so talagang may laboratory ito through the FDA, yung Intertech. Yeah. Tapos yung commissary namin, this is a 4,000 square commissary, inuodit ito ng WHO, inuodit ito ng big boys like Citibank, HSBC, because they are our clients. So, yung mga yan, those big clients, may mga food department yan eh, na yung kanilang food concessionaire, inaano nila yung parang in, regularly audit yung commissary. Mm-hmm. And, and, and to, to, to tell you honestly, hindi kami bumabagsak doon. So, yeah, kasi congratulations. We, take, we, we really take it very seriously, the food safety aspect of, of our business. Now, sir, I'll run through the, some of the stuff. Na, nandito ako sa website ninyo ngayon. Eh. You have pasta, you have vegetables, fish, chicken, pork, beef, duck, 
even desserts. May duck My pa. question is, so, sa mga naghahanap ng mga, kasi marami ng, I'm sure you've heard of, of yung mga vegan vegan groups uh, or, or, or people who like low carbs, yung mga may specialized diet. Are, do you guys plan, are you planning to come up with these kinds of packages also? Sabi ko sa iyo nana eh, hindi maitago ang kasosyal ni Eric eh, di ba? Ano ba siya ang pagkatas na po pare, lumalabas. So, next, ano yan, uh, evolution yan, the next thing yan, baka by September or earlier, we already partner with a big institution in the Philippines na plant-based protein. Wow. So, magkakaroon na kami ng alternative dyan na na it should be similar. It's like a caldereta, it's like an adobo, but it's a plant-based. So, ayoko lang siyang i-launch, minadali, pagka hindi pa nandun sa quality. Pero, aapo tayo dan. Ang, kay, ang meron kami yung therapeutic since we are the food concessionaire of top hospitals sabi ko nga no like the Makati Med of this world the, the medical city kami yung ano yung in, yung patient food meron nakikiusap mm-hmm. sa amin na like yung mga diabetic yung mga may issues sa whatever uh, therapeutic uh, class you have no sabi nila pag umalis na sila sa hospital hirap na sila how do you cook it no so sabi nila, pwede ba? Kaya pinag-aaralan na rin namin ngayon. Fine. And the hospital okay. to partner with that. Kasi pag alis ng kanilang pasyente, hindi ka lang resitahan ng gamot, pati yung food, which for me is better alternative sa gamot. No? That's right. And it's harder to get than the gamot. <laughs> yes, yes. So papunta din kami ron. Papunta din yung Casey Frozen Mills doon. So, do, are you sub- subscription based or talagang si select lang sila ng ng items on on your on your website ng mga mga viands, mga ulam or papano ba yung system with you guys? We make it very simple, no, for that to be easy for everybody. Just click, 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 okay. enter, and then the um, payment method. And dami pang option, no. If you want a cashless like credit card, cards, may, may bank transfer or kung ikaw yung yung conventional pa din cash on delivery lahat na pwedeng nice. wow lahat na pwede and it's ano um even yung delivery inisip namin na dapat maging easy kaya pag ang order mo 1000 free delivery anywhere in, wow. in, in I'm sorry ah, baka, baka may mag-order sa China <laughs> sa <laughs> speaking of and how far do you deliver down south up north sir okay pag yung hindi ka umabot ng 1000 anywhere in metro manila 75 pesos anywhere ah. in greater metro wow. manila 70 baba, baba yun kasi nga sarili namin no sarili but ncr plus okay so, meron kaming bulakan meron kaming rizal malakas kami sa santa rosa yung mga nubali people Bali, that's right Ayala West Grove, yung mga yan, diba? The Mines, so and so there. Marami kami dyan. At saka, Akabite. So, so far yun pa lang, no? Pero, sa lahat ng ito, pag 1,000 yung order mo, free delivery. Wow. Okay, okay. So, sir, bakit promote na po? Eh, mayroon pang next, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Kaya 1,000 yun kasi inestimate namin na hindi naman lalagpas sa free search space. <laughs> Grabe, pati yung inisip man. I love it. Inisip na lahat sasabihin, paano ko naman yan ikakasa sa akin, di ba? Yung, yung mga ganun. Yeah, yeah again, Nana. Okay. Uh, so, so sold asking. na. Sold na. Bago tayo magsara, sir, promote Saan po sila pwedeng bumili ng products nyo? Website, Facebook, ano pa po? Okay. So, sa mga teki, visit KC, that's Kitchen City, kcfrozenmills.com So, pagpasok ko dyan, yun, yun yung nakita ni... ni ni Eric kanina, just choose, blah, blah, and then you'll have the, 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 all the payment options. Or, kung gusto nyo may kausap, kung gusto nyo may kausap, visit Kitchen City Frozen Meals na Facebook. Meron akong FB team. Mga mababait yun. And it's headed by, uh, sasabihin ko para matuwa siya, si, si Suzanne. No? Si Suzanne Sasson from Iloilo, Dalaga, napakaganda. So, baka may mga... 
nila doon. Pero talagang sobra din silang seryoso na ang tingin nila solution, hindi lang sila nagbebenta. So marami sila doon ka-chat. No? So pwede ka doon and then through that, mag-order ka through the Facebook. Yung mga tito-tita natin, yung mga lolo-lola natin, conventional pa eh, telepono. So we also have the numbers. No? At sa website namin, na Casey Frozen Mills, may number doon, or if you want to know more about our company, visit kitchencity.ph para makita mo yung cafeteria operations, makita mo yung frozen meals, at makita mo yung catering. Kasi baka may add value kami pa sa inyo or you're looking for that food solution. So yun, iikot-ikot. Yeah. Congratulations, uh, Sir June Abelardo, President and CEO of Kitchen City. Excellent product, excellent process. Um, and we look forward to seeing you, you expand uh, to to let na nabanggit nyo kanina other other um, items uh, sa inyong menu. Um, we look forward to uh, seeing you back on the show to tell us more about this. Keep safe, sir. Great talking to you. A very enlightening. Uh, we have to wrap up the show. Thanks to everyone who uh, listened and also to our uh, production crew in the studios. Para kay Nana, ako po si Eric. Uh, this is Gearbox. Back to the studio. Nana, thank you, Eric. Todo na ang Selinador Forward and Speed Up with Gearbox sa Radio Pilipinas 738 AM. We know you're always on the go. On the go.